Welcome back, happy quilters. Here we are again in another edition of Monday Morning Quilting Quickies. Now today, we're gonna learn how to make a quick and easy tree skirt. Yep, I know it's a long time till Christmas, but if I don't get started working on some of these things now, I will not get them done. This one looks difficult, but it's very, very easy. As you know, we've been working with Kay England's um, Nifty Notion rulers cut for a cure. This is her 60 degree ruler. Now I'm trying to talk her into making us a big one like this Creative Grids one because for this particular um, tree skirt, I didn't want to make a mini tree skirt, I wanted to make one for the regular size tree. So for this one, we're going to be using this Creative Grids 60 um, degree triangle ruler. Now I know this looks difficult, but it really isn't. What we're actually going to do here is we're going to cut our strips. 11 and a half inches to make this. So, when we go to cut this one, which we have some whole ones in here, that's the, it's the entirety of the ruler here and here, simple. I'm not really going to demonstrate how to cut. I'll show you how to do this. We're going to line our rulers up here just like we always have with the 11 and a half at the bottom and this at the top. And then we're simply going to flip the ruler over and flip the ruler over and cut six of these and six of those. What gets to be just a little tricky, if you don't, aren't thinking about it, is putting these together. Because as you see, we're putting two halves together to make a hole. So what we're going to do to do these is that we have to have um, two our fabric right sides together or wrong sides together so that we get a mirror image of these. And when I do them, I like to stack my two colors, one on top of the other. And what we're going to do is take this ruler, and as you can see on the frosted part here, Here's a quarter inch on this side of this half, and here's a quarter inch on this side of this half. So we need to line this ruler up so that this half, we have a quarter of an inch hanging over, and we have this lined up to our 11 and a half inches at the top, at the bottom, I mean. Here's our blunt inch at the top, 11 and a half inches at the bottom, and we're simply going to cut. So, as you can see, we have this and this and a mirror image like this and this. Okay, so you're going to say, Marsha, two isn't going to do it. Now what am I going to do? Because I have my fabric and now I have an angled cut on here. So I can't make another straight cut. How am I going to do that? Very simply. This is how we cut this one. For this one, we're going to turn our ruler like this. And again, you can see that the quarter inch is hanging over here. Now you're going to say, whoa, this doesn't really match up. Well, it doesn't really matter. Just so long as you get the angled line, you line this up here and this up here. Make sure we've got plenty of room here to cut this and cut this like that simply and you can go on and down the line until you get as many as you need for this. Now when it comes to putting this together I'm going to show you a quick little thing. What we're doing here is actually these two are one and these two are one. So we have one of our background fabrics here and one of our and our two other contrasting fabrics here. So this is one and this would be a background. So we would sew these together like this to make one of these. And then again, we're going to take this one and this one to make one of these. And then also, you know, we're going to have this guy here. No, nope, we're going to do it this way. This would be one of our contrasting ones. And I thought I had a, I do, it's right here. Another one. 
So this would be actually your center part here. So this is simply how it goes together. We're going to sew these two together like this. We're going to sew these two, these two, and then go around the circle and make this. Now, you can leave this. You don't need to cut this out. You can have this for a table topper if you would like. But if you're going to cut it out, I'm going to show you an easy, simple way to make a circle. And this is Kay England's circle cutting ruler. I love this ruler. It's really, really easy. This is a six inch hole in here. So we need this ruler. We need this push pin. And we also need, um, these are Pigma pens. So permanent markers, you don't need to worry about it because we're going to um, sew it into the binding anyway. So in order to use this, move this over just a touch. We need to take our trusty little pin and there's a hole in the middle, right sides up, hole in the middle for this pin to go in. And you're just simply going to put this on your cutting board and you're going to put it in like that. And look at here what we've got. Easy, easy, easy peasy. So we find we can start with a one inch circle, one and a half inch, two, and all the way down to seven and a half inches. So here's my six inch. Ta-da! That's all I have to do. Easy, easy. Lemon squeezy. There it is. So I marked in here. I marked the center. I went around it, and then I simply cut out the inside. Now, for your ties, or so you can get it around your tree, you're simply going to go down the seam line. So you would choose one of these and you would go down the seam line. Simply bind it all the way around. I will tell you this, I did this at home, so I didn't have the bolt of fabric at home with me. Probably for this inside strip, I would cut this on the bias. This one is not cut on the bias. It works, but it probably would have laid a little flatter if I would have cut it on the bias. So there you have it. You can get ready for Christmas anytime you want. You can make these quick and easily. You can make one for each of your kids if you want to. Absolutely tons of fun. So thank you so much for joining me today. You can get the downloadable pattern on the link by signing up for our email at the end of this video. And on Thursday, the pattern will be posted for you to enjoy. So thank you so very much. We'll see you again next week.